up guys it is right here and today i'm bringing you guys uh, another my hero academia episode review episode 35 so let's get into it now the beginning of the the episode was kind of impressive because we got to see dark shadow and froppy in action and they were actually the first team to actually defeat their teacher so props to them like that was really awesome how they you know the teamwork how froppy thought ahead so you know she has real qualities of a hero and I really want to know how she will be when you know when she develops everything like you know when she's a full-fledged hero I'm pretty sure she'll be one badass female hero <laughs> but yeah Dark Shadow wasn't really that impressive I mean he was the one who had the weakness against the teacher so that kind of sucked but I mean we, we know what he's able to do so doesn't really matter when he's a full-fledged hero as well I'm pretty sure he'll be one badass dude as well now the real thing that was really Im important of the episode was Todoroki and Momo their team fighting against Aizawa I mean Aizawa is you know one of the strongest teacher we know especially with his quirk he can erase anyone's quirk anyone that he, he looks at you know so that's really impressive and at the beginning, Todoroki and Momo was kind of in trouble because Todoroki had a plan, but it didn't quite work out. Well, it didn't even work at all, so it backfired completely. But we also got to see that Momo was losing her confidence after everything that kept happening. I mean, she's supposed to be super smart, you know, and powerful because she can make any item that she knows how to create appear out of nothing. Her body, so... Like, that's super impressive. You can come up with any item you want, she can create. So, like, that's... Who can do that, right? It, it really comes in handy. But from, you know, the competition and everything, she, she since she didn't win, she kind of lost her confidence. She lost confidence in herself and her powers and started doubting herself. And, you know, if you're a hero, that's the one thing you can't do. You're not allowed to doubt yourself because the second you doubt, you know the villain wins. I mean, that's it. You lose. So you're never allowed to doubt yourself. But at the end of the episode, we saw how, you know, with the help of Todoroki, she kind of regained her confidence a little. So that's good. And she came up with a plan that actually worked. But yeah, sort of. It was still a fluke because Aizawa, she said it herself, Aizawa could have easily dodged and, you know, tackled her. But everything went according to plan, luckily. But yeah, they even said Aizawa's, you know, a softy because he let them win. He let them, but I don't think he let them win. I mean, I think her strategizing, her plan, and the execution went according to plan, even though she didn't execute it quite perfectly. I mean, she did miss a few things, but yeah, at the end of the day, they passed it. So that's what really matters, right? So that was pretty much what had happened in this episode, you know? Those two teams. Well, we did see Ida and the tail guy fight against the teacher as well. They've won as well. So, but you know, the highlights was really froppy and shadow and you know momo and todoroki i enjoyed momo and todoroki's fight with aizawa a lot because it had quite a little action and you know they had to strategize because aizawa is one strong and smart teacher and with his quirk he's almost unbeatable so yeah they they managed to beat them which impressed me a lot so that was pretty much it for the episode so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like Comment your thoughts down below, let me know what you think about Todoroki and Momo, Shadow and Froppy, you know. Let me know what you think about the strategizing, the fights. And if you're new here, if you could subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, so bye.